You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and this is our finale to our flashbacks four-parter on Saturday Night PBS shows I watched as a child. The thing that sets this episode apart from the first three entries is that as a kid I did not really like this show. My dad would watch it, but I would usually fall asleep. But as I got older, I gave this show another chance, and I loved it. That show is Blackadder. Britain's wittiest sitcom, a show that relies mostly on witty, intelligent humor, which I didn't get as a kid, but it is not now one of my favorite shows. It stars Rowan Atkinson. For those of you who don't know, Rowan Atkinson is the guy who played Mr. Bean. Blackadder is a completely different show than Mr. Bean, and is in my opinion superior. It's smart humor, and it is underrated in its own right. Sure, it's fairly well known. But many people prefer my, uh, Mr. Bean. If you get a chance, I recommend you check out Blackadder. I believe the whole series is still on Netflix, including the Christmas special, although uh, I have heard it's not, but last time I checked it was still there. If not, I know it is on Hulu. Um, the show consisted of uh, 24 episodes and three specials, I believe. And uh, the show itself was a really good show, and it had a lot of potential. Um, each season was set in a different time period, starring the same main character, just as either a reincarnation or a uh, sort of carry-on of the lineage. I prefer to think of it as a reincarnation, just because the characters are usually similar. Other than the first season, which I think was actually the best season, even though in the UK it's actually the least favored season. The first season, uh, Edmund, that's the main character, Edmund Blackadder, isn't quite as intelligent as he is in later seasons, but uh, he's still pretty... Uh, cunning in his own right. I mean, he's kind of dumb, but he's more weaselly and cowardly, and honestly, that makes him more likable in, in some weird way. Another thing is that, uh, as the series progressed, each season, Edmund would get smarter, but he would become lower class. For instance, in the first season, he was a prince. In the second, he was a lord. In the third, a butler. And in the fourth, a lowly soldier in the trenches of World War I. Each season, like I said, is a different time period. The first being medieval, the second being the Renaissance, third being the U uh, American Revolution, and the fourth being World War I. The show itself does a nice job of satirizing the, di the different time periods and views there, as well as making all sorts of jokes that no one would get, like references to things that actually happened in those time periods. So, it's nice and refreshing to see a show that actually goes into so much depth. I mean... I know there were some historical inaccuracies. Uh, for instance, in Season 3, the Prince Regent is skinny, even though he was supposed to be incredibly fat and much older at the time. Whereas, uh, another thing is in the movie, or sp uh, final special, rather, Blackadder back and forth, when they go back in time to Hadrian's Wall, it's only three feet tall, but uh, studies have shown that the wall itself actually was much taller before being destroyed. But historical inaccuracies aside, I consider Blackadder to be a great show and a nice look into history, even if it is inaccurate. Um, another thing that sets it apart, uh, or that makes it really good is, uh, Blackadder and his sidekick, Baldrick, are in every single episode. Baldrick is fairly intelligent in the first season, but each season he gets stupider, whereas the opposite effect on Edmund. Baldrick is, uh, he's different. He has this obsession with turnips, and, uh, he has the thingy shaped like a turnip. His words. Um, really good show. Really underrated. Um, probably my favorite episode would be the Witch Smeller Persuivant, which is about uh, Edmund being accused of being a witch. It's pretty funny, and it satirizes just how ridiculous uh, different witch trials and things were during medieval times and whatnot. Um, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, the Christmas special, known as Blackadder's Christmas Carol, is of course a parody of uh, Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. Uh, the other specials are uh, Blackadder the Cavalier Years, which is about the death of King Richard I. Um, or not King Richard the First, I mean, uh, King Richard the Fourth, sorry. No, it was King Edward the First. It was one of those old kings, I'm sorry, I'm not good on, uh, my monarchy, my monarch history, but, um, anyways, uh, then the final special was, of course, Blackadder back and forth. There was also an unaired pilot, which was never released, but I have seen it, and you can find it. Um, it's pretty interesting, too. It's actually was remade into a season one episode, but has a slightly different tone, and, uh, has a different Baldrick, weird enough. It's pretty interesting. I would recommend you check it out. And, uh, tune in next time.